We are live outside the Lifestyle Live studios because we are talking all things Carmel on canvas of course coming up we have ann o'brien with the city of carmel and then of course the artist on a offshore with us as well who we will chat with here in just a couple of minutes but man this is so much fun i remember this last year the streets all lined up with different artists and their creations tell us how this works yes yes so this is this weekend uh friday saturday sunday we have artists from all over the country now, that all in. over that's true uh just like anna who come into carmel to paint what they they see and enter they submit some of their paintings uh, to win up to $13,000 in oh, wow. prize prize winnings and so we have different areas in Carmel including the Arts and Design District Carmel Midtown yeah. uh, Midtown Plaza and um, the Central Park as well the Japanese Garden these are designated areas where the artists are invited to paint oh, what cool. they see uh, and the public can just see what's happening and watch the the talent live yeah. well in beautiful places to paint as well. I always wonder, do they have a certain station that they're assigned or are they able like first come first serve, you go pick whatever inspires you? Exactly. They just kind of look around. We have a map for the artists to yeah. sort of get to know the community and it may be their first time here or some people actually come back and repeat and come visit Carmel yeah. often. It is so cool. All right, Miss Anna, let's talk about you and your inspiration. I mean, this has to be so much fun for you. It is. I've been doing this event since 2014, oh, no. almost every year. And although I am a plein air painter and I usually don't have time, sometimes, most of the time I don't have time to go to other IPAPA or other plein air events around Indiana or the country, yeah. I always make sure I have time. I, I set aside a weekend in September for Carmel on canvas. So, And this is sort of an example because you have a flower pot here of some sunflowers, which you... Our yes, painting. Yes, because today on this kind of a little bit gloomy day, I thought we will be outside and I wasn't sure if I will be inspired by something right. right here, but I knew I will be inspired by sunflowers. I bought yesterday especially for this event. It's so pretty. I mean, you're you're so, so yeah. talented, so many talented artists. But when you do go to Carmel on Canvas, do you have an idea like thinking, all right, this is what I want to look for, this is what's going to speak to me, or do you have no idea? I mean, I will disclose some of my secrets. Sometimes oh, she has I do secret. drive around like a few days before, oh, okay. knowing that, and then and picking spots. And I'm, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm one of those who is a local artist, so I can do that. So I yeah. pick certain spots and watch for the light, which inspires me. But I spend usually the whole weekend there, connecting with people, painting, and sometimes it's something yeah. also on the on the go. I, yeah. I go. I love to paint people, so. Uh, when I see an interesting character sitting on the umbrella, I will yeah. paint it right there. Yeah, you just never know what you're going to find, what you're going to see. Do you hear this from artists as well? Just whatever inspires me is what I go with. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. And you never know what you'll see. I know you were mentioning yeah. that there's sometimes, you know, there's a crowd of people there or if it's a quiet scene. Right. Uh, but I do think that there is a crowd of people because people love to come watch and walk so around too. Carmel and experience what's there already. So and just come on out this weekend. Thing. Absolutely, just okay. come and walk around. We've got um, events happening at the Carmel Farmers Market where the public can actually come and vote for their favorites. Uh, and then we've also got a uh, reception in the evening on Saturday at the Indiana Arts and Design uh, Center. So lots stuff. of places to get involved and watch. Yeah, so much good stuff, you guys. Again, all the information on lifestylelive.tv. But come on out, just walk around. George, if you sit underneath an umbrella on a bench, you might inspire an artist out there. You just never know.